Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the Cocos 2DJS version 3 tutorial series. In this part we'll be looking at positioning using the move to method. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of the series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2DJS provides us with loads of useful functionality for moving a node. Most things in Cocos 2DJS are nodes that you'll be interacting with, such as sprites and menu items. We will look at positioning using the move to method, which positions the node relative to its original position, or you can think of it relative to the screen. So let's open up our folder. And what we're going to do is go to our source folder and open up our app.js. And as you should remember, we have our sprite that we added in the previous tutorial. Okay, let's just open up a web browser. And actually, let's open up terminal. CD. We'll just run this project so you can see what it looks like at the moment. Cocos run dash p web. And there we go, we have a sprite in the middle, but it doesn't do anything at the moment. So to actually make it move, first of all, we need to create an action. But then whatever you want, I'm going to call it sprite action. You assign it the value of whatever type of action you want. So I'm going to do cc dot move to dot create. And this takes two parameters. The first is how long you want the action to take, so the duration of it, so two seconds. And the next part is the position that you want it to end up at. Remember, this is relative to its original position. So I'm going to put CCP, you always have to put CC.P for positioning in Cocos 2DJS, number 50 by 100. So this will move it to 50 by 100 relative to its original position or the screen size, however you want to look at it. So let's just open up our browser, refresh. Mm. Oh, I forgot one really crucial thing. We have to run the action because otherwise it doesn't know what to do with it or what sprite to or what node to use it with. So this, I mean sprite dot run action. Then you specify the action you want to run, which is sprite action. Refresh. Still not working, eh? See what the issue is. Have I named it correctly? It looks like I have. Do you? Hmm. That is extremely weird why it's not running. I've, this seems to be constructed correctly as well. So, what we're going to do, go back to the web browser. Inspect elements, see if there's any, yeah, there's no errors in the console. Extremely weird. Let's just try rerunning it. Okay, uh, last thing that we're going to try is just removing the history. Okay, they just cached image files. Sometimes that causes issues. There we go. If you have issues, again, I've mentioned this in the previous tutorial, just remove the cache images and files, and usually that will fix it because obviously the JavaScript file it's cached, so it was using some old code. Let's refresh this. As you can see, now it's moving down to 50 by 100. Last thing to note, you can't reuse actions for different nodes. You either need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again. Recommended that you just create a new action for the different nodes. Load task for you to do, using the screen size variables, aka screen size variables, I should say this one here, uh, which has been used to position the sprite right here move the sprite using it so we move the same amount on the different screen sizes this may take a little bit of thinking but will be well worth the effort because this is how you create dynamic gameplay that works on pretty much all device screen sizes the next tutorial will cover positioning using the move by method which moves that node relative to its current positioning uh, allowing you to well do multiple actions on it so you can just let's say keep moving Maybe you're a player and you're going to keep moving it right, then jump. So it's sort of like a platforming game. 
If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.